Welcome to the SC2K show, a special show, a special podcast. This is the yeah. one year, this is the one year anniversary of the SC2K channel. Even though the actual SC2K has been around six years, yeah, it's been one year now since the YouTube channel <laughs> has been around. <laughs> and and we have like some lost old man in our uh, in our <laughs> podcast here. Yeah, <laughs> we have We Guy, the old guy, and J Man four six two four one. Happy birthday. You kids get off my lawn. One year. <laughs> but there'll be consequences like no other. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, that part that reminds me of uh, what was it, bench warmers? Where uh Napoleon Dynamite, whoever he was, try to hide in the bushes from the old guy. Don't He's like, you. Who is there? <laughs> You're in the bushes. He started beating the crap out of him. <laughs> that was a funny movie. <laughs> that movie was terrible. <laughs> I liked it. Oh Suck shut it. up. You're terrible. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, it was alright. Anyway, that's it. We just want to say happy birthday to the SA2K. Uh, this is Ron Moore. No. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> the shortest <laughs> podcast in history. Now, um, yeah, so as you guessed by now, the channel was founded on July 20th, 2009. And this video first was put up August 31st. No. Well, when was Ninja Guy? Ninja Guy, I think, was the first video other than the introduction trailer video. Right, yeah, it was Ninja Guy. That was uh, the ninja guy. That was uh, me, you, uh, Jeff, and Jeff's mom. As oh yeah, Jeff's mom. <laughs> washing washing clothes or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, but that was the first LP and technically second video, because uh, the first video was like the introduction to the channel. Um, we were all as the, I think it was us or I, no, we, have, we we didn't meet Barry yet. Um, I think it was me. Me, J Man, We Guy, Charlie, Jeff. Yeah, it was uh, it was all around that time. There was just like a lot of things that just happened. I feel so much. Yeah. Well, well, what I'm talking about was we were uh, a part of the uh, I Rate Fanboys channel. Yes. Which was a channel founded by Anarchy Balsic or Master Hand. And we just weren't having fun on that channel because of his strict rules of staying on topic and stuff. And so and we just kind of had enough of it and, and started Anarchy or, or – uh, Rebellion and not uh, and start our own collab channel. Well, you know, first of all, the just the like the the name of it kind of sucked because when I guess we came up with the name <laughs> Master Hand, it was supposed <laughs> to just kind of be like making fun of Ira Gamer. But later on, he made like a whole description of the channel, and it was like IraGamer dot com and check out Ira Gamer, and it was like that's not what the name was supposed to be. So that was you know. It already well, started out we, kind we were, of bad. Yeah, we were trying to make up a, I think a random lousy, ran, lul, random lousy, lousy name, um, and it was I think the the, the Anarchy fanboys. What was it called? I rate fanboys. Right. Um, I think that was just supposed to be like, you know, just to uh, make people think we were I rate gamer fanboys, but we weren't. And in the title of the name, we did not say we were I rate gamer fanboys. It just says I rate fanboys. So right. it's kind of supposed to be like ironic, where it sounds like we're saying we're fanboys of the IRA gamer, but at the same time we didn't. And it's just some random lousy name or whatever. I know somebody on YouTube that has the, a name Small Tummy Wonderful, and <laughs> yeah, he goes, "I don't know, Ron Moore. I'm going to make up a channel. It's going to be a random name. I, it'll take a while." And they came out with Small Tummy Wonderful, and um, so that so the IRA fanboys channel did not last long because we were not having fun on right. it. I mean, we, we were not a, able to be very random on the videos themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, so even though it was like a collab channel, which means we all, I guess, kind of run the channel, and we all logged in, had the password and everything. I think, I think since it was Master Hand's idea, he was like kind of the looked at as the main person in control, kind of like his his rules, so to speak. Uh, you know, five dollars or GTFO. <laughs> no. Um, but and, but Charlie actually had the password, I think. To the still does probably right. to the account. Well, yeah, we all so he, originally we all had it. Um, now after a while, it's changed. Yeah, they should close it. It's a failure of a channel. <laughs> put it down. Put it out of its misery. Has anything else been done on that channel? Like, nope. I haven't checked in a while. I, I know I it was. How about a month or so ago? I checked. Oh well, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think he took down our Star Tropics LP, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, made a new one yeah we did it better on more awesome. Yeah, we did it better on here. Yeah. Yeah. It was ECW. But uh <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that 
Actually, ECW mode made its debut in uh, Metroid for the NES, which in, also oh, yeah, Bear right. made its debut. Bear made his debut on uh, the Metroid LP. Oh, yeah, he did. Didn't have much to say in that one, but then again, never mind. But <laughs> they're all facts. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, uh, wait a minute. I was and, speaking yeah, to was... myself. What? What? Anyway. I was talking to myself. I was... What? I was, saying how Mike... I was saying how Mighty B was in the Wrath of the Black Manta. Yeah, like, that's right. Here's Wrath of the Black Manta. Um, I'm looking was, on the videos, the videos page right here. Uh, no, that's no, I was actually supposed to be. In, what? I was saying I was actually supposed to be in the very last part of uh, Columbus and Ties, but something happened, and you guys re-recorded, and I was in it. So probably Jeff fell yeah. asleep or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm looking on the video page here, and uh, yeah, the S2K trailer was up. And the Ninja Gaiden LP was up on the same day the channel was founded. So, yep. yeah, July 20th. And then, uh, yeah, um, I think that was also Green's debut was Ninja Gaiden Part 2. He was in Part 2 of the LP. The next LP after Ninja Gaiden was Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Um, the big hit? That was, yeah, that's over 7,000 views thanks to none other than Jeff. It's over 9,000. Uh, thanks to the ABGN tags. Or at the time, the game came out now. A lot of people probably we've never been told this, but I'm sure a lot of people probably thought, "Oh yeah, well, you know, S2K." Not to rip off ABGN, but to like, "Hey, you know what? Let's run his coattails to get to get views off the tags so the ABGN plumbers don't wear ties." No, actually, we were talking. Me and Jeff, and I think you, Jamie, and we was all talking about, it, and Charlie too. We was talking about doing this LP, and then all of a sudden, ABGN uploads. The review on on game traders. Yeah, we uh, so, well, uh, Jeff brought it up like a must have been a couple weeks before the uh, AVGN video went up, and I had never heard of the, of the game at the time. But yeah, we were talking about it and stuff, and he was like, "Okay, I gotta get my uh, capture card or whatever. Got to get it hooked up to the computer." And it took a while, and then AVGN came out with his review, and I checked it out, and I was like, "Guys, you won't believe it! AVGN just did it." What a yeah. yeah, really. And so we thought we'd go ahead and we we're going to make it as a video response to the trailer on YouTube, but a lot of surprise never got accepted for whatever reason. He was I, like, I know not, no. <laughs> who, are you, who are you guys trying to get noticed off my name? How yeah. oh, dare um, you? Yeah. It's degenerates. And, so, and uh, that part one has it. And that's Jeff's first and only OP on the channel. Uh, over 7,000 views since July 24th. So, yeah. So at least Jeff can claim that. Well, you know what, guys? At least my LP has more views than yours. <laughs> and that's still the first and only uh, uh, Panasonic 3D OLP we've done this channel. Probably will be the last. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to. glorious. Yeah. So many views. So many yeah. views. Congratulations. Congrats. Yeah. I clapped to you. Um, I remember one of the comments on there saying, turn your effing mics down. And as the SGK, I logged in and said, well, since you asked so nicely, dot, 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 no. <laughs> oh. The And then the next LP after that was Wrath of the Black Manta. We got his debut on the channel. Ooh. Yeah. And that game was bleh. Kind of like Dino Wars, just bleh. Worse. <laughs> yeah. At least there yeah, was I mean, like that, different, there was more colors in Dino Wars. But that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> and Wrath of the Black Manta has the same music. I mean, it's not fun at all. No, uh, it's not good music at all. It's the same music in each stage. Uh, all the stages, same music. I mean, couldn't Tato, a Taito, a Akuma, Matato, whatever they're called. Tato, potato, 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 yeah, potato. Uh, I mean, potato, 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 potato. <laughs> Can't, couldn't they, like, change, change the music in each oh. stage? I, it was, it's like, in every, every single stage. Now, there are some games where... Like in Contra, there's different songs in each stage, except for stage seven has the same music as stage one. Right. I don't mind that. That's totally it's different. Al- but because yeah, it's awesome music. When it, yeah, and when it's but when it's the same music that sucks. By the way, in Black Manta, I mean, come on, that game would be yeah. like it would be it would be a good game if the NES came out in like the 70s or something because that's like a 70s game. It looks like <laughs> just the music and the atmosphere of it and everything and um, should be an Atari game. Yeah. It, it I mean, seems it like it was kind of like a rush title because uh, Tato does have some other 
pretty good games on the NES. It seems like maybe it's something they just wanted to just put it out. We don't care. Um, I think Bubble Bobble is a good Tato game from what I was told. Oh, yeah. It's like their best. I mean, I never played yeah. it. But, um, yeah, I mean, Wrath of the Black Manta, kind of a eh, mediocre game. Um, <laughs> what? No, I think it's not like you said, kind of like a video game. It's like you said, like, kind of, <laughs> kind of, kind of and, um, there. so I'm going by the list here on the video section or whatever. The next, uh, well, this is not an LP or anything, but the, uh, next video after the Plumber's LP and Wrath of the Black Manta LP was, uh, the S2K show featuring an interview with Stuart Shafet. Now, Charlie, it was J-Man, Jeff, J-Man, and Charlie in that one. Is that right? Uh, I believe so. 